Well, the winter storm that moved through the state late this morning slowed traffic on I-40. Although the area didn't get too much snowfall, high winds made visibility difficult for interstate drivers east of Albuquerque. Road crews spent the morning laying down sand and plowing roads. The safety measures must have paid off because no major accidents were reported. The Pecos River Valley and Roswell saw snow on and off throughout the morning. News 13's Ian Schwartz is in Roswell with the details. Yeah, Jessica, the snow started this morning in just a few hours, anywhere from one to three inches fell here in Roswell and in the surrounding area. But most of the day, it really hasn't been cold enough for this stuff to uh, stick. You can see behind me, we're just looking at a few puddles here on Main Street. So, uh, But earlier today, travel on Highway 285 uh, wasn't too bad. There were some slick spots, but crews were busy keeping the roads clear. The fresh snow did keep some people inside, but others weren't phased by it at all, especially Gabriel Pasadena. Posada. He normally cuts his friend's hair on the porch. Well, today was no different. Posada said he prefers working out in the snow and in the cold weather. As the snow fell today, so did fresh hair clippings. One day and gone the next day. That's <laughs> how it is. Even if we get two feet of snow, it'll be gone by the next day. Now, mainly here in the city, about an inch fell, but as you head farther south on 285 and along Highway 82 east and west, uh, they saw anywhere from three to four inches of snow. Temperatures are starting to fall here, so those outlying areas with more snow could see some freezing spots, so you definitely want to be careful if you're out traveling on the roads in the southeast tonight. Back to you. Okay, Ian Roswell, police and the Chavez County Sheriff's Department say the snow did not lead to any crashes.